Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. In one of my uh, previous videos, I introduced yeah, the 8 basic skills of the Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to use the, um, those skills for this word illustration. I'm going to make a link to my previous video as well. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so let's do uh, the first word, the cheese. I'm going to type the word cheese first. Cheese. And let me make it bigger. Uh, my typographic choice is the, um, uh, the impact, heavy and bold. So you may use something else, like Arial Black, Helvetica Bold, uh, something like that. The cheese. And then first the thing is, this is the text. So I need to convert it as a graphic under Type Menu choose the create outlines now this is a graphic and i'm gonna choose my cheese color swatches let me choose maybe this one this fill cheese color so anything you like and let me draw one rectangle which is very skinny i'm gonna overlap it with the top of the my letters my word cheese so it is overlapping about this much it's okay so that's the other thickness of my sliced cheese. Okay, then select both. Open the Pathfinder. Pathfinder is on the window menu and Pathfinder. And let me choose the divide, the first one on the second row. Divide. Once you apply the any Pathfinder option, Adobe Illustrator will group them. So I need to ungroup them first. Ungroup. Deselect. And select the top piece and delete it and then there are the little pieces they are all separated now i'm going to select all together by touching the top and let me group them so it is grouped and then uh, under object menu envelope this tool make with mesh one rows and one column and say okay then now let me zoom in this end and let me switch my tool to a direct selection tool. I'm going to select this the um, uh, top anchor point, top right. See that? That's filled in blue. Hold down the shift key. Let me click on the, the bottom right anchor point as well. So these two anchor points are selected. Then keep pressing your mouse button, hold down the shift key. Let me move it up. Just to make it more realistic. I'm going to move this handler down and this one too. See? So slicing cheese. So cheese is done. Next, the ninja. I'm going to type the word ninja first. And let me make it bigger. How about this big? Okay. And as always, once you type in, go to Type Menu, Create Outlines first. Okay, now I'm going to choose my Line Tool in black, no fill, just a black stroke. Let me draw the line like that. That's where I want to chop, I want to cut, like this. Okay, now select everything. This time, choose the, your, the Shape Builder tool from the toolbox. Let me click here. Let me switch my um, uh, fill color to light green. Click here, this, and that. And also I'm going to switch my fill color to something darker green. For that, that, that. And let me hold down the Option key to get rid of this extended line. This too. It's all gone. Oh, and this one. Let me... Set the maestro color to nothing. Okay, so it looks good. So they are grouped. So first, ungroup them. And then I'm going to select yeah, this lighter green one. N, I, half N. And let me group them. Command G. And this darker N, J, A. And group them. So one group and two groups. I'm going to second move this second one 
to the side a little bit and down and let me rotate it slightly to just to make it fun like that maybe a little more that's good ninja like a fruit ninja and number three wave let me type the word i'll keep using the same typeface wave about this size that's good and then go to type menu create outlines okay and then i'm gonna choose my ellipse tool so i can draw really uh skinny um the yeah, the oval i'm gonna draw something like this okay and then uh let me choose my um uh, from your pen tool keep pressing your pen tool you're gonna see the anchor point tool and then click on both ends so we can have really sharp point and i'm going to switch to the color uh, any color is fine for now maybe i'm um, so just light blue just like this then uh go to uh window menu and open brushes panel brushes and then select this object i drew and drag and drop to this brush so you will see that the plus button choose the art brush say ok and ok see that it is here as a custom brush and I'm gonna delete this next step is let me draw one straight line in black the color really doesn't matter and let me draw one horizontal line by holding down the shift key just drag it and then let me choose the other plus pen to add anchor point to this one and add anchor point in the middle uh, on this line then switch your tool to anchor point tool again keep pressing your mouse button on this new anchor point and drag it just like that and apply this custom brush we just made see I'm gonna make a little bit thicker open the stroke panel Two point is good and I'm gonna overlay on top of my wave the word somewhere there let me make it just like this okay and then go to object menu expand the appearance this line so now this is a fill now select the everything uh, before we select it select the word first because there are uh, four letters an object menu compound path and make it first and fill the color in black doesn't matter and then select the whole thing now open the pathfinder and choose the second one from top row which is uh, minus front see now ungroup them ungroup select the top pieces i'm going to group them again i'm going to select the bottom half bottom i'm going to group them so top ones i'm going to apply lighter blue bottom ones darker blue so wave so it's good now last one is a speed let me type the word on the bottom speed a little bit bigger about this big that's good and type create outlines okay now i'm gonna draw one rectangle maybe the color doesn't matter but uh, i'm gonna choose the red let me draw one really skinny rectangle like this okay and then choose the uh, minus pen tool delete anchor point tool this one and delete at the bottom right corner anchor point now switch your tool to the direct selection tool select this pick point hold down the shift key let me move it down a little bit to the center oops there we go 
Now let me zoom in. See? Okay. Now select your triangle. Hold down the option. Keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key. Move it up. Just like that. And I'm going to repeat it. Command D. A little bit higher than uh, the height of my text. So it looks good. I'm going to select the whole thing. All these uh, triangles like the needles. Then group them first. Now go to object menu. No, I'm effect menu and warp and flag. Then it looks good. You can distort it side by moving this slight bar side by side. Maybe something like this. Okay. And say OK. And then go to object menu again. Expand appearance. I'm going to overlay this on top of my word speed. I'm going to reflect it. Choose reflect tool. Double click. Okay. And let me make it fit. Looks good. Okay. And before we apply this, select the, the five letters, speed first, and make a compound path first. Object menu, compound path, and make it in black. And let me overlay on top. Like that. Select everything. Same thing. Open the Pathfinder, second option on top row, minus front. That's it. And then you may change your field color to something else, like red. Speed. Okay, so uh, this is all we did. Four letters, and then it's a kind of a, a word illustration. Cheese, ninja, wave, and speed. Okay, in order to see the, uh, this um, effect even better, let me try this. On my layers panel, I'm going to add a new layer. Let me move this layer to the bottom. And I'm going to draw one black background behind, like that. Okay, that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.